Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, uh, we're going to look into environmental tech, I believe it's called, and uh, it has some cool solar panels. Oh, that bug's going on. I need to disable that on Railcraft. It's a, a holiday event, event something in the modules thing. I keep forgetting to do it, but meh, we'll do it later. So, uh, I moved some stuff in here. Got my tinkers table, got the little uh, ore automation here for whatever I need. I actually made some of this clear glass, which is a different kind of clear gr glass it's with enriched sand, which is nether quartz and sand. Um, and I think we'll be needing this for some recipes. And uh, I have made this here, a sensor. The sensor isn't anything special. It's, it's a pretty cheap uh, recipe here. Um, just some nether quartz comparator, this machine block, which is really cheap. And basically you have to be in front of it. Unfortunately, there's no area effect. I, I was hoping it was like area, like not in front, but around, but yeah, you can't win them all. Right. Anyways, um, this just lets you basically, uh, have a redstone signal. So I just thought it was fun. Something different. I was just trying out things. Um, so what I want to do is make a solar array and there's multiple tiers and we're going to do this one right here. So I guess I could take a picture of this quickly just so I have it in case if I uh, blank out or something. <laughs> um, anyway, so we need uh, 16 structural blocks, tier 1 or above. Uh, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's go environmental and then we can go structural. There you go. So we need 16 of these apparently. Uh, that's quite a lot, but uh, we should be able to do that. So... Uh, the Basalt, uh, with this pack, Sandbox 2, uh, there's so many different mods. So you actually go and get the um, Basalt from the Nether, and it's part of Quark's mod. And then basically you take it, and you would just put the one Basalt in here like this, uh, and it would turn into uh, the actual one you want. It turns into a paver here, but uh, normally uh, if you put the Quark's version of Basalt in here, then it'll give you this Basalt. And uh, if you put it in again, I guess you get that paver from the same mod. Um, so now we need solar uh, modules. Solar, uh, we need nine of them apparently. So solar cell? Yeah, solar cells. So we're going to need quite a bit of these. So uh, nine, uh, how many is it? Yeah, so 27 of these. That's a lot of um, lapis, but I went out and mined a bit. Oh, no, I got 28. I failed. Um, there you go. So shift click, I guess, would be enough. Nine of those. And then we need four modified cores or an upgraded version. So I guess uh, you can work on upgrading these over time, too. This one seems more than power enough anyway. So core... Oh, here it is. Modifier core? Modifier core, yeah. Here it is. So, we're going to need some iron blocks. There we go. Ooh, there we go. So, that'll be good for us. And now, um, we can go ahead and uh, work on this. So, modifier slots for... Oh, uh, solar... You might need block lists. It doesn't say anything about the solar thing, but I'm pretty sure you're going to need this. Interesting enough, it says block lists, but it doesn't actually say what you need for the middle part, but I'm pretty sure uh, you need actually the controller itself. So uh, we're going to need two more of these. I'm assuming we need them. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I'm going to build it anyways. Uh, so where, 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 where are we? There it is. And then, ooh, look at those. One, two, three, four. Ooh. And then lapis blocks. Is that? No, I guess that's nine. One, two, three, four. There you go. And now we can build this. There you go. Ooh, you took that. That means we didn't finish the other recipe, I guess. There you go. And then we probably are going to need this hammer. I don't know if we really need this, but I'll just make one anyways. Is there uh, higher level ones? No, they all look the same. So, is this tier two? Oh, it looks like you're stuck with these anyway. So, you need to make one of these. And then we need to make one of these, I guess. Oh, sorry. That was the other one that we're not doing. Uh, then we need to make one of these. 
And then we should be able to make this. Oh, crap. I did the wrong one again. Um, da -da 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 -da. This. There you go. Ready to assemble. So I've never done this before. Um, I know that you can click on the blocks. I don't know if they give you... I don't know how they work, to be honest. Uh, I noticed these telling me lightning rod. Oh, per strike. Oh, wow. I don't know if these hold any energy, by the way. I don't know if they have a buffer or not. Um, I have a feeling that they don't do buffers and stuff like that with this mod, but they might. I don't, don't know. I'm new to this. Um, but we won't have to worry about, you know, unpowering our AE system in this future here, or our storage system, I should say. This is technically not AE. Uh, so that'll be good news for us. And I hate having these offhand sometimes. There you go. So I have to decide how and where to do this. I assume it has some sort of height to it. So, hmm, does it say, did it say? It says it says five by five by two. So, um, let's go with five by five by two. You know what? We're gonna need an axe here. I'll just make life a little easier here. So lumber. And, you know, we could just turn this off for now. How much do we have? We're fine. Let's just get rid of this thing. It's, it's driving me insane right now. <laughs> on and off, on and off. Uh, we could do the lumber axe actually in here, too. We could just say right here for now. There you go. So that's one. Maybe this is two. I don't know if this is where I want it, but we'll try it out anyways. Oh, that is so cool. It's not where I want it though, but uh, that is pretty cool. Okay, so let's disassemble this because, oh no, so much for uh, power in this. This is pretty cool, but it's not where I want it, so we're going to break it down and do it again. It builds it right at the uh, base, it seems, so that's where I want it. Probably here then? Yeah, right here probably would be good then. There we go. Funny thing is, I don't think I've put a bed. It's still out here. Could always move it. Ah, we'll wait till I finish it. Anyways, let's right click this puppy. That is pretty cool. So is that assembled? It's assembled. There you go. That's kind of cute. Eh, I don't know if I like it though. Um, I feel like it belongs more inside now. It gives us a lot more headroom though where it is, so... I guess we could work with it over time. So, if we do this right, we should be able to bring the power in and uh, use that. So, we need some sort of power mod storage. Um, so I was looking at maybe Ender IO. I don't think I've done these ones really, so, and I don't think there's many available right now. So you got these ones, they're really cheap to make. Um, gonna just need a bunch of gold, of course. And they hold one million capacity. The next one is probably higher, of course, but it'll probably require special, yeah, materials. So let's just do with the basics, cause that's cheap as cheap, right? Um, let's say 16 of them. And... There you go, that's how to get some redstone. And then iron, yeah, let's, I say that's pretty good. There you go, four of them. So, this one should be relatively easy to play with, so... Probably just put them like this, I assume, and there you go. Yeah, I think that would work. Now, of course, we don't have uh, RF a tick coming in yet with it, but that'll probably change over time. Mainly because it's raining. This other guy doesn't like using his bed much. He's probably like the only guy that plays that never uses his bed. Some people just never do. 
Maybe he's always underground mining, I don't know. Um, we'll just put it here. So is this working? Yep, there you go. So there you go, it's producing. It'll go kind of up and down probably, but I guess it produces about 1,000 RF a tick, like it said. So that is uh, pretty powerful, honestly. That, that is actually extremely powerful, I would say. And uh, that was four. So this is another four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Uh, we didn't quite get what I wanted, but we can add more. And the more you have, oh no, that was perfect. The more you have, the higher input and output it'll have. So originally it didn't have much input or output, whatever. Now it can do up to 4K in and out. So that's that's actually good. We're probably getting our a decent amount on here. Ooh, it has a nice little charging system on it. So there you go. This is 4 R, 4K RF, and it does 9, I guess, 9 million RF storage. That's pretty decent, my friends. That's decent. So now we need some cables. I don't know if we even have cables uh, that we can use on the basic level, but uh, we will look into it. Coordinate selector. Oh, yeah, they have that cool teleporter too now. Um, even though it's cool, there's there's some other better teleporter, sadly, that you can use, but uh, it's something to look in. Oh, yeah, here's this one. Uh, it's a crappy version, and it still requires something special. It's just not simple as, there you go, you know, you have power. Um, that's the downside. Mechanism, sorry, mechanism. I know it's got power, but uh, I don't know what we're talking about for a basic universal cable. Wow. So a basic one still requires steel, so <laughs> not going to be making that right away. I know there's other power cables oh look at this solar flux reborn first cable second cable apparently you can't build those anyway so what is this one storage network item storage cable huh and you get your cable refined storage parent has i don't think refined storage has power to their cable i mean we could try it i don't think it's powered uh, type cable at all but maybe it could power itself no it doesn't even connect I didn't, I didn't think so, but I mean, sometimes you want to try these things because you never know, right? Um, so. Oh, yeah, we have uh, immersive engineering, actually. Immersive. Sorry. Immersive. Immersive engineering actually has some decent cables, and they should work at low levels and pretty high levels, too, if you really want. I don't think there's anything too expensive to it either. The aluminum's a bit annoying, but uh, for low levels, MV should be fine. Hardened clay, though, we don't have... I uh, don't think we have any hardened clay. I doubt it. We hardly have any clay. This guy likes asking a million questions, buddy. Just give it a try. Oh, no. You know what? That's not how you make harding clay. I don't think it is. Oh, maybe that is how you do it. Oh, it's bricks. That's right. It's brick pieces. Anyways. Um... There you go. So that'll create that. What about the cables itself, though? You need the cable for that. Is that electric? Oh, no. Here it is. Oh, it is Electrum, though. We've yet to do Electrum yet. That's a mix of a material. You need silver and gold mixed into that. That sucks. Silver and gold. Um... Let's try it. 
We could do it in our furnace actually, but I'd like to try it in here, see if it works out. So let's put silver in here. Oh good, it does work. What we can do is, I don't know if it's fast to get it out, but oh yeah, yeah, I took that out already. No? Maybe it didn't. Wait, what? Does it error out? Oh, there you go. Just don't let this finish it. There you go. We'll do the same for the gold. Now, I don't know if we can mix this through powders. I think we could. At least a long time ago you used to be able to. So that's what I'm aiming for here. We'll find out, though. If not, we can always do it in the uh, Tinker Smeltery. But I thought I'd do it this way because I wanted to show you another way. I think most people know that. And if not, they learn it accidentally when they put too many different ores in there. And they've mixed them by accident. So my hope is to make Electrum through this. And there you go. It did work. Uh, there was some other components that it required. It needed uh, engineering wire cutters, I believe. It might have needed the hammer as well. Or shears. Oh, okay. So there, there's that, I guess. Um, but those were plates, weren't they? Yeah. So you need a, a hammer as well. There you go. And there you go. Okay. And that, my friends, should get us these guys, these guys, these guys, and those guys. And that should get us these guys. Oh, okay. Thought we were getting more yield out of that, but I guess not. Ah. You did the wrong one, son. Oh, did we not? Guess we didn't. Well, we did use the hammer once. I don't know. I'm not even sure what we've done now. Okay. We'll do it this way. Maybe they don't have um, wire cutters. Maybe they don't. Whoa. There you go. Okay, so that should get us this. And then we can go back and we should be able to make the MV. There you go. And now this should get us everything we need. So if we power this down, this has an internal buffer, of course. But if we put this here and this here, this should. That didn't work out well, did it? That didn't work out at all, my son. Either it has API issues or it can't be placed upside down, which I think is actually the issue. Bingo. Got it. And there we go. This is actually a really good setup now. So our roof could be the uh, power kind of in a sense. You can expand it through the rooftop if we wanted for fun, which that would be kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah, we got our thing here. Now, I'm pretty sure we got light level issues over here now. Yes, we do. What the heck is this thing? Oh, a flute. Did I have a bunch of... Oh, they're there. I was going to say, I thought I had torches before. There you go. And there we go. So now we have powered our system in here, and this should work. This should work decently for us. We won't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, that makes me happy, and we can uh, start powering up everything else. I'll do that later on, do some different design. I might uh, do it with the uh, AE type system we have. Now, I'm going to need bricks. I want to do something else here. I want to make a blast furnace. It's one way of making steel. It's not the, the most efficient way, but it is one way of making steel. Oh, but you need just bricks. Hmm. 
you can't convert what you have. You can melt it, I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess that's one way of doing it. That would be a bit of a pain, though. What is that? Extractor. Okay, so we need clay over time. Best to get way to get clay is underground, but uh, that's going to be more work than anything right now. I was hoping it was just going to be a simple task. I wanted to get a blast furnace made, but uh, that could be later on. Uh, let's go to RF tools again then. Um, RF tools. I got a better idea what we can use our time for. So there is a transporter that you can make. Uh, a little expensive here. It is definitely worth it. Um, now what about the actual transport pad now? Uh, matter receiver, matter transmitter. So I think this is to let you transport back to your base. So these are relatively cheap. They always have been. Um, but this should let me do, you know, a bit of exploring, do whatever without having to uh, worry too much. So if I do this here and there, and go from here to here, this should power this up. And then this, I assume, can somehow link into this? I don't know, though. So. Oh, there you go. It's already set. And then this probably could be charged somewhere in here. Ah, here you go. And now, this should be, yep. So this basically lets you do this. So, yeah, now we could go and mine something, for example, quickly. And we could easily go there and back. That's kind of why they're badass. Um, it lets you transport wherever you want. Well, transport back, I should say, wherever you are. Uh, now, to go to one destination, another RF Tools has a transport. Or not RF Tools. Um, Ender IO has a transport pad. Um, but telepad block, yeah, they're expensive. They're very expensive, so... Should be mine before I get into mods. Uh, but yeah. So there's clay. We can get clay. We've already seen clay underground a few times. Uh, this is marble. Kind of threw me off thinking maybe it was clay. Here you go. This is a good way of getting clay. Damn my auto. There you go. Hit B. You can turn that off. Um, there you go. It's a good way of getting some clay. Yeah, I like that. Quarks adds clay into the world gen, which I think is appropriate. It's always been one of those annoying things in the past that, you know, we actually had a world where basically people had monopolized. This is back in vanilla many years ago, but it was a huge world, but it got to the point where people actually were monopolizing clay, and clay would become a very expensive material because it was clay. I mean, it was a nice building material. It made bricks, and people wanted it. It was uh, a wanted item. <laughs> But it's kind of interesting anyways. Now what you could do is you could bring a pad with you, I guess, somewhere. And leave it there. But uh, you need to charge it up. You can power it any method you want, though, still. But uh, it would take some time. But yeah, running down your caves, I guess, that you've done before and looking for clay is a good way of uh, finding some. Because normally when you're mining, you probably weren't you know, mining the clay. But later on, you might be like, oh, yeah, I had some clay. Here's some clay. There you go. I don't know if you can use the chisel basalt and convert it to that to environment tech. It might be only the quarks one. I'm not sure if I set both or one. I think it's cool though the other one you have to go to the nether anyways for us. It. it makes it a little more interesting. It's not like it's extremely hard or anything, but it does give you another reason, I guess, to go to the nether, and I think that kind of makes it interesting. Wait. Scanning, 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 scanning. We're not going to have enough time to make the uh, furnace anyways. Oh, maybe I'll talk about it. We don't even have to make it per se through the episode, but we can 
talk about it and I can make it off camera. It's just to make some steel. It's the one method of making steel. Ooh, demons. Okay, there's gotta be more than that buried somewhere. They don't rip you off that badly usually in Minecraft. Maybe they do. I'm starting to think chisel overrides it. That that's bad. Usually they don't. They take uh take in part of the number. Uh oh. Okay, let's get out of here, I guess. There you go. So... I don't know why it says something wrong with the destination. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. You can always put it in here for a maximum charge, and you got your clay now. So, of course, we need to turn this clay into brick. Um, I've been just doing this for now, kind of lame method. Um, we could speed upgrade these, though I don't know, uh, what they're like. Um, extra utilities. I'm not really worried about power. We can always get a power line over there as well now. But, what is the speed upgrade? Upgrade speed. Oh, here it is. Oh, you need a resonator, huh? We haven't built a resonator yet. A block of coal. Oh, that was interesting. It was a bit of... Um, server lag there. Not really, but I it did lag. I'm not crazy. I swear I'm not crazy. Uh, anyways, resonator. There it is. So this is something interesting. I don't know how this works. Um, it doesn't look safe in any way possible. Uh, can I go ahead though and make a generator from before? There you go. Let's get some coal from before. There you go. I, I'm assuming this requires power. It might not, though. Maybe it doesn't require that. Um, anyways, let's look at what we were making. So we're making the speed upgrade. You need to make these. So weighted pressure plate. Try this for now. Four of these. Oh, it requires the GP. That sucks. Power. We don't have GP. Um, and I don't think this is going to work. We could try it, but... It's not even eating it, so I'm assuming no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, interesting. Oh, all his machines die when you're in negative GP. Ha! I didn't realize that. So his GP is another power source. Um, you got to basically like make solar panels or whatever. Here's these ones here. It's not that it's a, ha a hard task or anything. It's just that... Uh, yeah, you're gonna need some polished stone. We got some basic stone, but not a lot. There you go. Um, polished stone. Is it like this? Oh yeah, there you go. So you could do something like this. Yeah. So this is what it wants, basically. And you can put it anywhere, however you want it. So for now, let's just put it here. So that means we have a grid power of nine and it should be enough to power up this and everything should work again too. Um, but there you go. Now this just consumes up to eight. So that's interesting. I guess it doesn't need eight. It just requires eight GP over time to milk. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works, but there you go. And this, this will be interesting. This is the first time I've done this, so this is the whole grid power. We were looking into this before, talking about it, so there you go. Um, so with that and this, we should be able to make four speed upgrades. Now this should be a lot faster, probably. Definitely a lot faster. Downside is your generator isn't fast enough, so you're going to have to also speed up your generator over time. Um, so yeah, here you go. 
I think we found the even number for this right now. So there's your bricks. That's working. And there's your bricks here. So we can go and make, there's a blast furnace here. And uh, I'll just do this off camera, but it's, it's just basically cheap. Uh, I'm going to need nether bricks. Oh, that's another thing. I don't think I have, uh, I have that kind, so I can make it. But I got nether bricks itself, not those. And then I'll just assemble it. And basically, you, you might need, well, I think you can use coal, but uh, basically you just, you know, fuel it with coal or something. And then you would create, uh, or maybe you need to make creosol and use coke coal, uh, coke, uh, cool but i'm not sure i'll figure that out in between now and the next episode but uh either way thank you guys and girls so much for watching i hope you enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe comment like we'll see you wonderful people next time